You know, as a Nigerian, it hurts me to know that every year we lose over $1 billion to medical tourism. And it's something that I think the government is conscious of, um, that we need to be able to get that money back in our country. And when people leave the shores of Nigeria, they're going to the private sector in India, in Turkey, in South Africa. And therefore, the private sector is really going to galvanize uh, the change that we require. But to do this, we need to have the infrastructure, we need to have the equipment, and we need to have the people. And to be able to encourage that kind of level of investment, it is not cheap, it's quite expensive. Uh, government plays a role here, and to my mind, they should create the enabling environment for private investment in healthcare. And I think one of the things that we have been pushing, um, I'm also the president of the Healthcare Federation of Nigeria, is incentivizing healthcare investments, uh, giving, for example, physical and non-physical incentives, giving tax breaks for the first five to ten years to doctors or organizations that are ready to build the kind of infrastructure that we require. Uh, secondly, by getting rid of duty. The duty on medical equipment is extremely expensive, anything between 5 to 30 percent. And this really increases the cost of acquisition. So we really need to lower the barrier of entry. And if we can do this, it will invite more investment into the country. Uh, I just came back from a conference recently. Um, it's called AMPA, the Association of Nigerian Physicians in America. And there are quite a lot of Nigerians. There are almost 30,000 Nigerian doctors in the US. And many of them do want to come home. But to be able to do that, they need the enabling environment. And remember, at the end of the day, the machines and the buildings don't make it happen. People do. So we need the skill sets and um, the likelihood that anybody that goes abroad outside India will see a Nigerian physician is almost 50, 60 percent. So we have the Nigerians in diaspora. They need to be able to come back to an, an enabling environment. I think a government helps create those incentives that we can get that done. Uh, the second major issue beyond incentives is financing. Uh, we need to have a more proactive way of financing healthcare. Um, healthcare is a long-term investment, but most of the the finance that is available in Nigeria at the moment is short term. We cannot build the kind of multi-million dollar institutions that we require uh, on 24% interest rates. It's just not sustainable. Uh, so I know that the Bank of Industry and the Central Bank of Nigeria uh, have intervened with the MSME funding and the uh, another fund, real sector fund, but a lot of people have not been able to draw down on the central bank funding. So I would ask the central bank governor to please make sure he prioritizes the service industry, healthcare industry. Health is wealth. Without health, it's a, you know, a, a vicious cycle of poverty that we're creating. So we really do want to need to have the government support to create that environment. And private sector is ready. There's so many investors. I mean, the last time I checked, there are over 150 different investments in healthcare that are coming up in the country from private medical schools to diagnostic centers to cancer centers to independent specialty hospitals and orthopedics and can, you know, uh, cardiology. Uh, then there are huge investments, foreign direct investments that are ready to come in and build 300 bed hospitals. But all of this can only happen if we have the right enabling environment. So government needs to put their, their money where their mouth is and let's make sure that we can really get this country going. The opportunities are vast. Nigerians deserve better health care. I mean, it's really appalling the kind of statistics that we we dole out the maternal deaths and the child deaths every year. We have, as you, I'm sure you're aware, one of the worst under five mortalities in the country, in the, in the world. Uh, we're second to, I think, Afghanistan. And the last time I checked, that's, that's appalling and it's really unacceptable. And the crisis across the country has made it worse. As you know, we've just had the re-emergence of polio. Uh, we have some of the worst statistics in the northeastern part of Nigeria because of uh, the civil strife that's going on there. So beyond healthcare, we also, of course, require the security to be able to make sure that people have access to healthcare, because what matters most is access to affordable but quality healthcare.